Hey, how you doing? Now this is a very unplanned video, but I really wanted to get this video off my chest because I've been feeling a lot of anger lately against certain people in my comment section on YouTube and against certain people in the ESM group as well. So let me just tell you some of the comments that I've been getting lately. And they go like, why are you still using these old cameras when everyone else is upgrading? You can't use Magic Lantern for serious work because it's too buggy, it can't be done. Why don't you shoot on a mobile phone? Because it's better. Now these comments are completely, absolutely ridiculous. Now before we move on to samples, I want to get things into context first in that, yes, Magic Lantern cannot be used for everything. If you're shooting a wedding or you know, you've been paid 2,000, 3,000 pounds to cover an event, then I probably wouldn't. Use magic lantern now that's i'm giving that advice to you people out there who have just jumped on it you might be new at it i wouldn't do it for me personally i know exactly how magic lantern works and there's a lot of people on the group that know how it works as well me personally myself i could easily film a wedding with magic lantern and i know exactly what i'm going to get because i've spent time with it time using it time understanding it i know exactly what to do when to do it and what to use now, I do have a couple of other cameras, as you know. My Sony FX30s, they're my main cameras. But if I needed a third angle, there's no way I'm gonna go out and buy another one. Those cameras in the UK cost 2,100 pounds each. So that's already 4,200 pounds we're talking about. If I need a third and fourth angle, it's not gonna happen. So what would I use as my third angle? it would be a Magic Lantern camera. This camera, if I record MLV files on this, I can convert this to any different color space that I want or codec, whether it's Arri Log C, Blackmagic, Sony S Log 3. If I wanna put it into ProRes 422 HQ 444, or if I wanna put it into Blackmagic uh, color space, I can do anything I want and match it to any camera but there is a lot of things that you've got to understand. So it kind of gets me mad sometimes when I see people on YouTube and they use the camera for about two weeks and then all of a sudden they've become like an authority on it. And as you know, I'm very passionate about Magic Lantern because I love to give my information for up and coming cinematographers or people that just don't want to spend a lot of money on a camera but still love to get into the hobby. I, you know, there's a lot of us that spend so much time giving all this, you know, tutorials and color grading and shooting and all sorts of stuff to give people all the information to go out there and just go and create. And then on the other side of that, you've got people that can't do it, that they just wanna take other people down with them as well. Now, when I first joined Magic Lantern, the community, there was only like, 225 people in the community and thank God that everybody there was so supportive of you know my dreams and my aspirations and helping me to overcome things that it's led me to this point where I am now and I'm so happy with what all the knowledge I've gained all the things that I can do I can choose any camera or pick up any camera and use it nothing scares me whether it's a, you know a micro four thirds or APS-C or full frame nothing scares me because Magic Lantern taught me to deal with every single problem that like there is. I see a lot of people with the FX30 and they say, oh, that is terrible in low light. You can't shoot low light. It's not a terrible camera in low light. You just don't know how to use it. Cine EI is absolutely fantastic. You just haven't learned how to use it. And the same thing goes for Magic Lantern. Put the time in and you will learn and you will get some amazing stuff. Now, I just want to reiterate again. Do not go out and film a wedding with Magic Lantern as your A cam. Maybe just get a cheap A cam, a, a Black Magic. Uh, you know, spend spend a thousand pounds. But by the time you've added on all the other stuff, you're looking at more like fifteen hundred pounds. But regardless, buy a cheap camera and then have Magic Lantern EOSM or six fifty D, seven hundred D as your backup camera. And trust me, you're gonna love the shots that come out of your EOSM or you know your other Magic Lantern camera if you know how to work with it. So using it on a professional side, I wanna show you a couple of examples. Now, my first example is just something that I shot in a few hours with a friend, no lights or anything like that. We shot most of it in the woods and I shot it in UHD in 14 bit. And this is my new favorite uh, preset now because it's, it hasn't got as much rolling shutter, but I just really like the way it looks as well. So it's just a quick thing, quick grading, and it took me less than, I don't know, in total, maybe about 10 hours to make this video. So if I spent a few more days on it, I could polish it down to a T. And this is an example I wanna give you on how it can be used in a professional setting. Are you ready to unlock the secret to radiant youthful skin? Introducing Glowberry, boosting radiance, evening out skin tone, and showing dark spots the door. This revolutionary brightening serum takes skin from rundown to recharged. 
We only use the finest natural, sustainably sourced ingredients. No artificial preservatives in sight. So that's everything you need for results and nothing you don't. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. And this is what I mean about when you're using Magic Lantern professionally. If you're doing some sort of video where it can be reshot, like if you're doing a product video, fashion, dance, or it could be anything really that you can reshoot again, then you're free to use Magic Lantern however you want for capturing things and, and then just putting it all together in a nice video at the end. As I said, if you're doing a wedding or some sort of event where there's important speakers where you can't capture it again, then you might want to get a decent A cam first and then maybe have Magic Lantern as your second cam do not use it as your a cam okay but can you earn money with magic lantern 100 percent. since crop mood has come out trust me all lids are off you're going to the moon just trust me on that one so the second example i want to show you is from a guy in indonesia called david coiral now he's on the group he does some fantastic videos and this is an example of how you could use it in a documentary setting with a nice voiceover dragonfly Looks cool, eh? Another dragonfly. And some greenery. Ouch, I know you don't like greenery. But I promise I will not add any cats. Instead, maybe some deer. And some chicks. and fish, and fruits, and some people. But you will not see my son eating today. That's all. Let's close it again with Dragonfly. So David is absolutely amazing as you can see from the footage there. All of us are using Magic Lantern and achieving great things with it because we know the camera, we know what we're doing. And finally, the third person I want to show you is another person who uses the camera to a professional standard and does a lot of work with it. His name is Aduroja Posey, and he does some fantastic commercials. I spoke about him before in the past. And let's look at one of his commercials now. Introducing Vertella creamy chocolate peanut spread, high in protein, perfect breakfast for everyone. The healthy way to start your day. Doden. So there you go. If you want to do your product videos and you want to charge your clients for it, trust me, it can be done. Just come to the group, use the search button, pay attention to what people are telling you and listen. If you get people that tell you that it can't be done or it's too buggy or whatever, I guarantee you if you ask them how long have they been using it, they will say, oh, I haven't been using it that long. Or certain people just give up. They just give up. They can't, they just go and buy any old Canon or Sony or whatever because it's press record and go. And to an extent, yes, that's what you want. But don't let that stand in your way. If you haven't got the money to buy a thousand pounds, fifteen hundred, two thousand pounds camera, do not let these people stand in your way. Get an EOS M, get a 650D, get a 700D. It's going to cost you a couple of hundred pounds to get the whole thing running and you're going to be on your way to your cinematography dreams. So that's the end of the video. This was very unplanned and I've got some good things coming in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Obviously subscribe to stay in the loop and I will see you over on the Facebook group. Take care and I'll see you on the next one later.